Discord has been blowing up today while I've been at work. It's seven o'clock at night and I literally just got home. So we just got some major updates live to the game. It brought a lot of new toys and changes to the game. Go check your inboxes right now. There's lots of goodies in there. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Topher Smurf. Let's get into it. First off, let's start out with the brand new free LD Nat 5. Now we kind of knew this one was coming, but it is exciting to finally get to play around with it. That's right, come to us, heard all of your whining and said, fine, here, but don't get too excited. The new monster, Freevichel, I mean, I mean, Vivichel, the Dark Harp Magician, is another OG monster from the Sky Arena game. Vivichel is a Dark Nat 5 support monster specializing in healing and cleansing. You won't be able to summon her in any other way other than going through the guard journal and completing her story. After that, you can obtain copies for awakening in the altar's blessing. While she may not be anyone's first choice in PvP, or most PvE content, she will be exactly what a lot of people have been missing, which is a dark healer for their dark element tower team. This tower has been the hardest for most because we only had two options for healing in the dark element, and that was Chacha and Rashid. Thankfully, I recently pulled Rashid, so I'm really kind of up in the air who I'm going to use, Rashid or the new Vivichel. Even being four stars, most players won't have either of these two monsters, Chacha or Rashid. But with your new LD Nat 5, the Dark Tower should be significantly easier. Let's take a quick look at her skills. Skill 1 is a basic attack. Skill 2 is your healing and cleanse. And her third skill is a defense up and an attack down. Her passive is unique as it will deny death from a boss and apply Endure. And immediately use her ultimate song of Switched destiny. Her ultimate burst heals your team, applies defense up, and continues to heal your team 9% every second. Completing her story in the guard journal also gives you lots of rewards and materials for leveling her up. Next up we have the Water Chimera banner. In my opinion, Water Chimera is an S tier monster for every summoner. He protects your summoner and team, applies provoke and frostbite, and puts out a massive amounts of defense scaling damage. If you don't have at least one copy of Taor, I suggest you summon this banner. Forget about the Hell Ladies next week. We got some new transmogs, some furry transmogs for the Raven family, as well as the new Lunar New Year outfits for your summoners. These are actually really nice. A couple balance changes. Cleef got a couple buffs, a little bit of weird changes to the scaling, whether he scales on defense or attack. I think they're really trying to etch him into a more of a warrior class instead of a tank. They added 20 floors to both the Spires of Ascension and the Element Towers. You know, for all those whales who are getting bored and leaving the game. With this, you will also be able to purchase more stats through the Powers of Ascension. A new item to the Ascension Shop is the Research Log Books. These books are just like the old skill books, but they are specific to each summoner. This is a nice addition as eventually you will run out of things to use your Knight's Shields on, and this will be a top priority moving forward for me. You also have a couple more ongoing events with rewards for completing the new floors in the Spires and Element Towers. Honestly, for how difficult this content is, the rewards are kind of lackluster. Season 3 of the Collection Challenge is up. These are always worth it as the rewards are quite good. Arena is seeing a little bit of change. When presented with a list of summoner defenses to battle in the Challenge Arena, you will now see a larger variety of grades, so you won't likely be able to just quick battle all 10 of them. You now get more Brawl Seals from defeats, making it less punishing and more alluring for people that are already didn't like PvP in the first place. And lastly, it made rank points lost much lower in the Silver and Gold ranks, so a little less punishing in those ranks. Overall, the Weekly and Season rewards have been slightly improved for both Challenge and Brawl Arena. Of course, I almost just finished my Hero Area video. I didn't think they would make all of these changes so fast, the area has been radically changed. The elite creatures or mini bosses will now only spawn every three hours instead of every 30 minutes, but they will also disappear after two hours. Baphomet, the big boss of each region was the biggest complaint people had with the new hero area because of how difficult it was to actually both find and be playing the game at the same time that the boss spawns. The new times will be posted on my discord and I will share this updated hero area guide. Did anyone else notice that the Eastern Standard Time boss spawn for Baphomet is literally in the dead of night? Boy, I'm going to be snoozing. 
The Naraka raid boss, as predicted, is getting changed to three times a week for rewards with daily supports after that. But you will now be guaranteed five star four awakened piece of equipment, which is honestly great. All I ever got was purple gear from Naraka. They are giving us more material drops as well, which is great because a lot of people were struggling to get a lot of those blacksmithing materials. Lastly, they nerfed Naraka. Thank God. It was getting super frustrating dealing with the RNG fire spawns and not having any place to stand. Rejoice, rejoice, three and four star monsters. We can all rejoice and not feel bad about raising our three and four star monsters anymore. They have made it significantly cheaper to build these monsters. Three stars no longer require pieces to awaken, but you will still need those pieces for skill ups. Four star monsters now only need 10 pieces to awaken 14 and 40 pieces to awaken 15. They also drastically reduce the breath of life cost for three and four star monsters. For skill ups, there is now a new four star devilmon, which can only be used on a four star monster. You can now purchase these from both the moon shadow shop and the arena shops. They put a lot of these in the shop, so you honestly never need to use monster pieces for skill ups. I honestly am going to start saving the four star monster pieces I get for the pieces exchange shop. Maybe there's a sweet nat five I want to exchange for, or just get some breath of life with that. But either way, these new four star devilmon and the decreased cost are a great improvement to the game and allows us to build and play around with a lot of these cool four star monsters. Secret dungeons are now 10 friendship tokens to use, but not all of them are going to give you monster pieces. That's still only five. But there is still a lot of breath of life to be earned through using those friendship tokens, so make sure to be using them. We get a brand new monster event, and this time it's Charlotte, the Wind Occult Girl. Just like the Wind Ifrit event, it's a great time to spam out those Path of Growth tickets. If I can get enough Wind Occult Girls, I'm probably going to restore my Annabelle and use Charlotte's pieces to rebuild her back up. And finally, there is a guild request event, so stay active in your guild and complete your request every single day to earn a Devilmon at the end. There are some bug fixes and minor changes at the end here, but that wraps it up for this update. Leave a comment down below and tell me what change are you most excited for. If you like this video, show it some love and hit the like button, and if you like coming back here every so often, click the subscribe button. It helps me to grow the channel and put out more content. There's a link to my Discord where you can ask questions and chat all things Summoner's War. That's all for now. I'm Tover Smurf telling you to keep on gaming.